Hi everyone. Uh, spring is here, a beautiful day, and I've had a good week with the bus. The engine is now mounted. See it floating there. Yeah, I'd like to preface my videos. I am a professional in no aspect of car building. I just like to record my experiences, mostly for myself, and hope it helps someone out there. I do actually make a living out of engineering, as I'm not an engineer. I'm an industrial designer, again, self-taught. Uh, I'm working on a, a baby stroller at the moment. And in my downtime, I dabble with machining and carb fixing and just making stuff. So anyway, uh, I hope my videos are enjoyable to someone out there. Okay, enjoy. If you're wondering, I create these 2D drawings with dimensions on, but I just send um, DWG files of the face and that's all in separate parts so I can send them out to be plasma cut or laser cut. Um, so the only question I have is that whole measurement. So a few days later, these are all the pieces I've made. Got laser cut. That's two pieces. So it's quite simple. It's actually you can pull them out by hand. A couple things here. Um, I'm basing my design off a tough mount, which is a commercially uh, a mount you can buy, but they don't do a Toyota coaster, of course. Um, and also, it took me a whole day to find, or not find, a piece of 38 by 3 mil piping. So, yeah, waste a whole day doing that. So, a bit of bright bar steel. It's got a, thought I might have to machine it to, to size. These were too big. Cut about five mil out of it. And I'll squeeze it up. Look at that. Weld that up. It's hard to say how much penetration that has, but uh, I'm pretty sure that'd be okay. are a tight fit. Beautiful. Weld them. I might have to redo this because I don't think it's got enough penetration. This little welder, I don't think it's got enough ampage to um, get through that 5 mil steel. Anyway, uh, yeah, ugly, very ugly. It better do for now. So I'm just going to place this in place. Um, it's going to bolt onto the motor and I have to, it's going to be like that, bolt down the centre. It's just enough meat to weld these on. And I've been given them heaps of adjusting room, almost 50 mil. Um, Find out where they sit. Yeah, Let's go from there. Some progress. So, I think that looks right. It's not pulling anywhere, it all seems to be loosely bolted. It might be a fraction too far back. There you have it, the uh, right hand side mount. That little flaring there is actually, this is bent back, so that will press back up. Hmm. Not going to win any awards for welding. <laughs> Pretty terrible. Well, at least my welding is consistent. Consistently bad. So there you go, all painted and pretty. 
So just drying. So these ratchet tools are a lifesaver. They are so good, especially in tricky little spots like this. Like you can go in at any angle and just ratchet it in place. Simple enough. And slide in like so. Sweet. Well, it's a, it's a thing of beauty when it's once it's fitted. Who cares about the welds? It looks good. Um, they're going to be pretty tight, so they're going to feel every vibration, I think, because they are designed, like the original tough mounts are designed for drag cars and the like. So, yeah, we'll see. Like magic, the engine is floating off the ground. It's been on blocks for a month. Superb. Time to clear up this mess. I was actually experimenting with some seating positions for our dining sleeping area. But anyway, I'll get rid of those and get rid of the crossbars and get rid of the stone blocks, sand blocks, and let it sit there on its own weight. Right, to be frank, I've got more space on this side than I expected. A lot more, actually. It seems to have, when it's sat into its uh, mounts, it seems to have gone a bit to the left. There's heaps of room now under here. So that's good. Yeah, there's plenty of room for everything. Again, at the back, not hitting. That pipe's still there, which is good. So there's room for a giant Garrett Turbo just there. Hmm, tempting, huh? Anyway, it all appears aligned with the old drive shaft, so I'm hoping that's right. There's room for to wiggle, shift it a bit with those mounts, but. I'll let you know if I have to change it. You know that the, the center line down the transmission is not the center line of the top of the motor. It's actually closer to that bolt, I think. That's why the motor looks like it's sitting to the left, right in this angle. So I double checked the mounts, the original mounts are even. Hmm. Anyway, there's enough room for power steering, if I had power steering. Anyway, again, I'll let you know if I'm wrong, but anyway, it's looking good. So the challenge next is to build a transmission support. That's an original Falcon one. That was from the transmission this bus had and its original mount. This was um, a radiator mount. Uh, it looks like it's been customed from somewhere, but that could be really good. And I'm hoping it's gonna fit. The Brake booster is in the way, which is a little annoying. Um, hopefully I can work around that. 
Um, if you can see, that's the so mounts underneath down there, which kind of just forward of that cross brace, which is okay. So I've got room to put something in there, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, more fun. I'm really hoping that this comes in handy.